This podcast was created by fans for fans and is not affiliated with or sponsored by Hallmark or the Hallmark channel. This is Eric. And this is Sydney. And this is Hallmark Mysteries. And more. Okay, exciting day here. We have brand new guests who we've never had on the show before. The co-hosts, Michael and Diane from Hallmark Cafe. How are you guys doing today? We're great. We're so excited to be here. Thank you. I, I feel like somebody just asked us out on a date. <laughs> I know. Well, that's we're a little great. progressive here. Yeah. <laughs> well, interesting, but you don't you know, get out much. That's, that's how we go. So, all right. So tell tell all my listeners a little bit about Hallmark Cafe. Where where did the idea come from? You know, how you decided to get going and all that sort of good stuff. Well, I'll I'll say that I had the idea for the name. And so I wanted to do a podcast about Hallmark movies for quite some time because uh, we've been watching Hallmark movies for like for 20 years or however however long they've been on. And so uh, we thought, you know, and we're always talking about it. the movie ends and we had this big discussion on the sofa, you know. We thought about having a podcast called The Sofa Movie or something. Yeah, we didn't something to do that. Over, but, but so then we uh, decided, well, well, we'll do the podcast. And, you know, and so that's what we did. We, we came up with the idea with the Hallmark Cafe and some of the things we do in it. Um, and we also came up with the idea that if we're going to do a podcast about Hallmark, we would only really talk about movies we loved because we didn't want to do a, a snarky kind of podcast where, you know, we kind of tore the movies apart and all of that stuff. And those so are fine. People have that's fun with I, yeah. Great. It just, it's not us. It would, so. We thought we wanted, we wanted to do something different, uh, you know, because we are discerning. We, we can watch a Hallmark movie and say, well, that wasn't very good or whatever, but we don't want to, you know, we, we thought going and talking about that for half an hour wasn't our thing. So we decided to. There's enough good movies that we would just take the good ones we like and talk about why we thought they were good. So that you we know, came with the idea of putting it on the menu. So we have, and we wanted to do more than one movie. Uh, so we had decided, well, at first we were going to do an appetizer, a main course, uh, dessert, and an and a after dinner mint. But and sometimes we'll throw something in, but we said, that's too many movies. Too many, we yeah. can't do that. So now we just have a main course and a dessert. Uh, and then every now and then we do uh, a special episode on, uh, we call it the mystery meat, M-E-E-T. And uh, so w because we love mysteries. We do. We love that's, that's why we're here. And that's that's right. That's right. <laughs> so we decided that uh, what we would do, since we know when people make these movies, uh, they they work really hard, so hard. All the people, all the cast, the crew, everybody works really hard on these movies. And we wanted to try to try to lift them up. And if lifting them up means not really talking about them, then that's fine too. We just go with um, the positive on what we do. Right. So. so today we're here to talk about mystery on Mistletoe Lane. Hey. Uh -huh. And this movie stars Victor Webster and Erica Serra. I think that's how you say her last name. Maybe I not. believe that is. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So description we... is new to town, Heidi Wicks and her kids discover a Christmas mystery in their historic home. Local handyman historian David helps along the way to find his own surprising connection. All right. Okay. That's not, I don't I don't know yeah. if that would necessarily bring me in, but it's what it is, right? All right. So one of the things, you guys have your cafe, we have our bar, and we like to make a cocktail for the movie. And so tonight we have the mistletoe lane punch no. and to make this you're going to do two ounces of cranberry juice there's a lot of ingredients by the way one ounce of grapefruit red grapefruit juice an ounce of sprite an ounce of pomegranate liqueur an ounce of orange liqueur and an ounce of spice rum and then you put them in a glass with a whole bunch of ice mix it all up with a candy cane put in some uh and then you want to just sprinkle a little bit of uh uh uh, sprinkles on top of it to give it a little holiday flair and there you go there you got your uh can i have whipped cream mistletoe lane. <laughs> yeah you can throw some whipped cream on top of it but that will be citrusy it's a little sweet spicy, but you know what sweet, lot tart yeah it's got a little bit of spice kind of you know it's yeah, actually yeah. it's kind of like victor webster if you think about it <laughs> they put it in a very tall glass very tall it is well you can do with all those ingredients you do need a big tall glass so no that's very that sounds really interesting all so, right. Have you tried it yet? I have not tried it have yet. Tried it? Okay. I will uh, 
You'll be right back in I'll just make, a minute. I'll, I'll make, yeah. I'll be back and I'll be slurring the second half of this podcast. All right. All right. You ready to get rolling? Yes. Oh, sure. Right. Oh, we haven't started yet. Lead okay. is, no, lead is on. Lead is on. <laughs> I know. All this talk and we haven't started. All right. So why don't we start with, why don't you tell me a little bit, what did you like about this one? Hopefully there are some things you did like. Actually, I will say it did not make our menu, but that's not because it was a bad movie or anything. Right. And it wasn't because we didn't like it. There were just two others that we liked better. And, um, it, you know, when it comes to our mysteries, we, we take them pretty seriously. So it was a very strong uh, weekend. It, it really it was. was. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, the uh, I think the thing that kept it off the menu for. Well, let's see what I liked first. Yeah. Come on. What, say what you like. Like. Yeah. You know, I, we don't have to get negative right away. Really, Jeez, we talk about how we're so positive. See, let me loosen. I'll be I'll be not positive. <laughs> you need to have some other mistletoe. Uh, the, uh, punch. I'll tell you uh, what I really liked about it was the cast. I thought the cast was great. I loved the little the kids that they they played their parts really well. Of course, Victor. Uh, terrific. But especially. Um, what's his name? Fred Henderson. Fred Henderson. Yeah. yeah. I'm terrible with names. Um, Fred Henderson, to me, he's just one of the best. Played Wallace. Uh, he's one of the best supporting actors on all of you Hallmark. You see him all the time. All of Hallmark. And it, it, like he was in one of our favorite movies, which is um, The Christmas Doctor, Doctor. Uh, with Holly uh, Robinson. Holly Robinson Pete. Pete. And uh, that was a great. Do you remember that one? I do not. I don't think I've seen that one. That's a that good was one. a few, a couple of years ago, I think. Yeah, twenty. And uh, she plays a doctor. Getting off track. She plays a doctor. She's kind of a sub doctor. And uh, um, you're off track there. Frederick, Frederick calls her uh, calls her in to to take his place while he can go on vacation. But there's a whole backstory, a whole thing that's happening. And there's one scene in that movie that will absolutely make you cry. With it's Fred, just really good with yeah, Fred. Yeah. And in this this movie, he didn't disappoint. I mean, he was just great. He was really good. Yeah. So that was my favorite thing about about the movie, actually. And me, uh, pretty much the same thing. I liked the cast. Um, That's cheating, you can't have mine. No, it's the same thing. That's what I liked about it. I like Fred. I think I always when Fred's in a movie, it's going to be interesting, whatever character he's playing usually. Um, and I think Victor Webster is he's one of the most relaxed actors you'll ever see on screen. He's just kind of really comfortable. He, he he's he, like to hang out with him. Yeah, he's just like a cool guy and. Uh, I thought he was good in this movie. He he just played it. He underplayed things. It was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and I liked her. I thought she was good. She was. Uh, it's, it's her first Hallmark movie, so I thought Erica. that was nice. Yeah. So yeah. So 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 the cast and the kids were not obnoxious. The kids were yeah. they were they were pretty good uh, kid actors. They didn't go over the top, and uh, you know they didn't. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't annoy me. So it was good. <laughs> no, because that can know, happen. With kid actors. You know what? And I've worked with kid actors, so that can happen. So you have to, you know, but these these two are good. So I will say, I think you guys stole my notes because oh, man, I feel bad. I had, I had Victor, think very Victor, much alike. Well, I think it's, you know, like you say, it was just such good casting. All the all the people who you also forgot was I I I, I don't know what her name was, who played Linda, the uh, assistant at the um Mary Beth Manning. Yeah. Mary Beth Manning. She was Manning. she was fantastic in this too, good. I thought. Mm -hmm. And but yeah, Victor Webster, like you said it, Michael, the way he like he doesn't he's just effortless, right? He can just do a little uh-huh and just uh -huh. he doesn't really have to say many lines. I know. But he totally yeah. delivers the moment. Exactly. And he's, yeah. he's he's one of the best at that. And uh yeah, you know that Eric, scene when he's sitting in the chair and they shake hands and he just kind of holds her hand for a moment. Like, oh yeah, yeah. That's okay. what he's good at. There you go. Yeah. I think I think a lot of people would think if they're shaking Victor Webster's hand, we get not letting go. dreamy in that moment. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, letting go. If I ever meet him, I'm not, gonna take his hand and not let go. He's no, not I, very low on the list of the uh hottest actors, I would say. Yeah. And he's, you know, he's, he's, he's pretty high up there. a lot over the last several years, and yet he's timeless, you know. He's just got this handsomeness. But it's like a from the inside out as well as the outside in. Yeah. And you well, know, what, all these guys do. Well, what's amazing about him is so my gateway to Hallmark was Summer Villa. And oh, okay. I, I saw that movie yeah. and I was like, whoa, this is really cute. This it's is a good movie. I, like, I, I, like talk my language. <laughs> I really liked the movie. Yeah. And then that's that was what got me hooked into um when he Hallmark. gets out of the pool. I'm sorry. Uh, I, know, yeah, I, know. I know I can't get that visual out of my head. Yes, Thank I know. You so <laughs> I, uh, I I annually share that on his birthday for uh, for everybody is is my gift to the world. Yeah. But um, the funny thing about it is, it wasn't for a while like you're saying how he's aged. 
that I actually realized I'm like, oh wait, that's Victor Webster. Yeah. And um, he just kind of looked different, and I don't know, but yeah, he's. I don't. He, we 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 just reviewed um, Matchmaker Mysteries, which uh, mm-hmm. I had Andrea right. on, and we were, you know, didn't think it was the best. And but the one thing we said was. Victor was still, even though he was not given the the best uh, script and you know best best situation, he was still fantastic in it. He was still good. Yeah, yep. I wanted so, to be, I want him to be in another mystery. Right. Uh, so, yeah. well, he exudes detective. Like, yeah. if there's someone who's just ripe to be a detective, it's, it's him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's right. So, and no, then, my, go ahead. Sorry, Michael. To your point, is I'm very vocal. And I, I know it's bad. I've got my own kids, but Hallmark kids are the worst. They are the worst. <laughs> this season, though, across the board, the kids have actually all season been pretty darn good. And this movie yeah. is no exception. And to your yeah. point, the like that bar is pretty low. It's like, okay, they didn't annoy me. That's a home <laughs> run. But no, these kids were actually fun. And I liked, you know, they were engaged yeah. and they were actually likable. So it wasn't just yeah. like they didn't annoy. So that, that was fantastic. Yeah. And then I, the last thing, well, I had two, two more. One is I disliked it because it was different, right? We'll talk about when we get into, you know, the mystery aspect of it. Mm-hmm. But it was just kind of a very different holiday movie that we don't normally see. Yes, it did have the love story, but it took a very different path. And yes, right. you had the whole father story that unraveled, which was interesting. But the last thing I liked was, and I didn't know his name, and I'm not as familiar with him as you were, but I said the dad was fantastic in there. And I really enjoyed that him and Linda hooked up. I thought that was awesome at the dance when he's all of a sudden like, son, step aside, I'm going (laughs) in. And uh, that was fantastic. I was was hoping that was going to happen. And it you might you might it. become a Fred Henderson mm-hmm. fan. So yeah. You'll see so, him a lot. Yeah. Omar, like, there's Fred. I always say that's yeah. Fred. There's that. I always say there's that guy. Because he's a <laughs> he's a remember. he's a van. This movie was made in Vancouver in Fort Langley, right. so he's a Vancouver actor. And we've gotten to the point where we know we see certain actors. Okay, this is Vancouver. This is Winnipeg. This is Toronto. You know, you, you kind of figure out okay. if you see the, the supporting actors where the movie was made without even looking it up. So yeah. that's thought, why Fred's in all of these Vancouver movies. And there's another. Um, very brief appearance by one of our favorite um, uh, supporting actors, and that's uh, Linda Barlow, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, she plays Linda Darlow. Uh, uh, Darlow, I'm sorry. Uh, he can edit that out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Linda <laughs> Darlow is, um, she played Betty on the um, Cookie Dough Murders. The very yeah, first. She baked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one, she's the one that, if somebody out there knows these stories as, as much as we do, uh, she shot Max Turner. And she tried to shoot uh, tried to give her. the cat her cat away because she thought she, was, yeah. she would for sure was going to, um, you know, to yeah. jail. Yeah. And then she also played the uh, uh, grandmother on Hanukkah on Rye, which is one of our absolute all time. Yeah, favorites. that was a good movie. Uh, yeah. So she's really good. She just has a brief appearance. She's the the injured mayor, you know, that's right. Saying, hey, yeah. no, you don't get to. I The only thing that was missing in that scene was she should. He should have said, Mom. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. oh, that would have been classic. And, classic. Um, so, yeah, I, I agree with everything you said. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, all we, right. all which kind of is unusual because I don't really agree with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Diane. I know you, but you're obviously itching to say because you, you, oh, you try okay. to kick off with what oh, you what uh, did maybe that? didn't love so much about the movie. So, now you well, go ahead and share. Enough, it's not the story. It's not the acting it's not um the you know mystery uh, as we know it's more of a scavenger hunt than a mystery and it had a little bit of mystery yeah. about about the father but it, you know as far as a mystery goes i yeah i don't think it was much of a mystery we'll, we'll get to that later but the thing that bothered me the most is that some movies the way they're shot it it gets a little claustrophobic and this one felt like that because the thing that opens it up for me is to feel like it's someplace and so I like the movies where they have maybe a walk and talk on a sidewalk somewhere. So you, you just get the feeling of being outside and and maybe there's Christmas lights or other people or, you know, even if it's just background people walking around. And that's the thing that I missed was it felt like it was all inside the, the mystery lane and it was inside the historical thing. And and that's about it. I mean, they did have a little bit of um, they had the little party on the lawn, I think it was at the end. But that was really all the outside. Well, stuff they, they, did, they did go ice skating. It was inside. It was. Yeah. <laughs> she ran so to that, get her. She ran to get her box 
her cook or her coffee maker out in the driveway. Oh, that's right. She was in the yeah, driveway. She did yeah. go in the driveway. Yeah. But I, Shoeless, I really, sockless, but that was about yeah. it. Yeah. No. I, you know, okay. now that you mentioned it, I realized I, I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. the only thing that bothered, that sort of subliminally bothered me. But again, I would not say I didn't like the movie. I, you know, overall right. score was pretty good. So. Oh, you're welcome. I hate to sound like a broken record. You but, agree with me? <laughs> yes. Uh, it was a little claustrophobic. I wanted to open up a little bit and go places. Um, in a car. Yeah, that was. I mean, it, th- I can't fault it for anything else. It did what it was trying to do very well. I mean, yeah. uh, so it just, it, they did go out to, you do see a little of Fort Langley outside when they're outside. The, oh, yeah. The, the yellow building that's the community center in Fort Langley, you see it all the time in Hallmark movies. So they were outside, or, or at least that's they true. Had, that they was, did that. that were, they, good. were they actually yeah. outside? Or yeah, they were. Well, shot? no, it was just a stock yeah. shot. But they, they when inside. you see them inside, they're actually inside that building because we know that built. We've been to that building, so so that was nice. So they got out of the house, but that they didn't really go far. So that was probably I, you know, that's the only thing that I would probably complain about. Yeah. And that could have been I don't know budget or yeah. just and, and just because because they would go back and forth between her office old house and her old house she was living in. So they got kind of confusing mm-hmm. sometimes in terms of they mm-hmm. they were very similar. And God knows they were probably the same location, but uh, right. <laughs> hard to know. So <laughs> the uh, other end of the house, so that, that was the back it. was yeah. the front, and the front was the back. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, okay. very well could be. So, so that was that was it. What did you feel? So I had t- I had two. I had one of them was the the assistant mayor or vice mayor, oh, whoever right, he was. Right. Like yeah. his, I thought I, I found it kind of silly how he was oh threatening to fire her over that first initial party, like. I, obviously very dramatic over the top maybe yeah 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 and um so i, I just found it like you, you're not going to be bringing somebody in even if you're not for it and have them do one first event in their first like two weeks and be like okay that's it you're done right i just right. that was just I, a little I, forced for conflict like for me I've worked and for something just like that we though. did yeah <laughs> i actually have too it can and, happen yes it can um, I actually worked at this one place once that I got this job and it was really weird. Nobody talked to me for like the first week I was there. It was oh. very unfriendly. I'm like, what is going on? And then the next Monday, all of a sudden, everyone was really friendly. I'm like, okay. And then this um, one woman came up. She's like, I'll be honest. You're the, um, you're the fifth marketing director we've had in the last couple months. Usually they don't last a week. <laughs> and you got you since you made it past the week we talked You're to you in. and oh, i think i've made it i've made it like two and a half weeks <laughs> oh man <laughs> and, well, and i wish the record the thing is <laughs> i wish i had and afterwards i talked to some people i knew you know in the community and they're like oh yeah that is the worst place to work that guy is insane i'm like thanks for telling me that beforehand <laughs> i mean like, yeah I we've had a, almost the same to, same experience love to have had that uh that information <laughs> But then the other thing I hated, and once again, maybe this is my marketing background and also, you know, doing our podcasts and all our Instagram stuff. I hate, I hate when they had the trending hashtag that takes over the world. So, you know, tribute, hashtag tribute tree. And all of a sudden everything's so successful because someone put this hashtag on a post. It's just not how it works. And like I say, there's, it happens in all sorts of Hallmark movies where they'll just go, oh, just put hashtag love and it's look like, at me. Everything's great. It just, I, I hate hashtags. Uh, yeah. leave, leave them out. I think there was one in, in the Christmas Island. There wasn't a hashtag oh, no, deal. No, or, I don't maybe That's how they were going to do the, the Santa, give away the thing. Yeah. I, can, I still can't figure out how that worked out, but I kind of let that one go. Because can't let it go. I just, I don't know what they're doing. So I, I don't know. I will say I like, I really enjoyed the movie, but it was the definitely one where you cannot dissect it no. because no, you can't. Too then much it, doesn't make sense. Yeah. But but at the same time, if there's too many of those things, then for us, it just doesn't make the menu. It's like send it back to the kitchen. It needs more development. It needs more of this or that. Um, let's go on. There's too many. But know, if those add up, it make it? if yeah, it adds like, up, then it, then it throws me off. It's like being on a on a ride and yeah. then you know suddenly whoops, I'm I'm gone. I'm just like threw me right off. Uh, that happens a lot. I'm a horse person, so. Um, if they're doing anything with horses, that and, means she has a horse, not an actual horse. Person. I think they know what I mean. Oh. Uh, that uh, it, they start doing things with horses and that just aren't correct, and it just throws me right out. I'm like, oh god. 
And I'm that way. If you if, you're, if, if they're depicting making a movie or a television show, and I was like, that's that never just you can't do that. Or if there's a singer that's up there right. playing guitar. There's my hashtag thing. Hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Is that's your hashtag right. thing? So, and yeah. I imagine there's a lot of people in the like. It was a show the other night with a pilot. They're probably thinking, oh, they would never I do know. that. Oh, but I know nothing about pilots. Christmas so could, Island, like, right. oh, that wouldn't happen. We don't know, so we just gotta let that go. So. Yeah, it's, it's just like, you know, that there's a blizzard so bad that you can't take off a plane, but you can walk around town in short sleeves. That's right. That's right. A, <laughs> I know. You just have to have the, no, it's but, a fun, Okay. Coast. Here, no, there. Possibly. Okay. Possibly. Back, back to, uh, back back to, the to mystery. mystery Lane. All right. So uh, as you were alluding to, let's talk about the mystery. And really, was this movie a mystery? It had mysterious know. parts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a scavenger hunt to me. It wasn't really a was. mystery, but I still consider it mystery but, for the, the mystery was the father, but the father's the, story, right. you know, but we never really, oh yeah, I guess they did explain why that all happened. They did. Yeah. But, um, And I guess I can see why emotionally he would have left, shut down, did, blocked it out. But, you know, at what point did you figure out the door and the wall? Uh, Probably when they did. You know, oh, so it, you didn't when, figure it out ahead I, of time? It, no, because I don't, I, I guess I might have, that's why we always watch those twice and we actually haven't watched that one twice yet. No. But um, when they said, the clue said something about door and wall and it wasn't until somebody said, I figured the wall was, you know, some kind of wall or Walter kind of thing. But uh, the door thing was, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what that was I didn't, at first. I until didn't, they, when they did it, I didn't get it. I thought, oh, okay. Dorothy, was it Dorothy? Yeah, yeah, Dorothy. Yeah. Dorothy, yeah. yeah. So no, um, what I was really taken by actually was the uh, the the special little bits of photography that they did, or or um, the not photography, but uh, what the what the DP would do with the little deer inside things, like looking okay. right. or looking in oh, yeah. the light and the little scar. I thought that was clever mm. and that was really fun. So I was like, ooh, they figured that out. That's cool. So yeah, little things, little things entertain me. So yep. yeah. Like I said, I think that it necessarily wasn't mystery. We didn't have a dead body, but it still was fun and it still had mysterious, like I said, mysterious yeah. no, elements. No stolen to it. jewels, and or, you know, and the, the dad thing. I found the dad one very funny at the beginning because, you know, Victor, David, whatever, asks him a question. He's like, Yeah, don't bother going down that. Don't even do it. I got to get back to my golf game. And then the, and then, you know, Victor's like, Okay, doesn't even like, you know, I'd be like, wait, what? No, you got to tell me. Maybe he's I mean, maybe my curiosity would go up yeah, as opposed that, to like, okay. Maybe that's the way he, their relationship is. And you know, that was yeah, the, we don't know I the thought, backstory. Well, I guess yeah. they're they're estranged. Yeah. I mean, that, he knows when sure. he's not going to get anywhere. Yeah, so I wasn't just, sure. So. Plus, he was but, just looking for the painting. So he, then he went right. back to look for the painting. Yeah, no, yeah. it's always man these Hallmark paintings, their holiday paintings. They yeah, wouldn't. Would, make, they wouldn't not they, something I would they, hang they, in my house. Yeah, say my wife. I, if I tried putting it up in the wall, my wife would be <laughs> slapping that over the top of my head. All right. You All know right. That, there's that car commercial where they buy a painting, and he says, "Why did you buy it? We gotta had to buy something. It's your brother. Where are we gonna hang it? <laughs> the attic, <laughs> facing mm -hmm. the wall." Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. All right. So the last thing we talk about is the style. So this can be the decor, it can be the fashion, it can be, you know, like. The little reindeer and you know all the, the the little things of you know that they have somebody on set to to, okay. to create and stuff like I, that. you go first i'm gonna go first because it is every time i steal your answer so good it is the console stereo because i love oh. console stereos yeah you know the, the, you always right. had them in the season the 70s parents He's still had these looking things. for one actually yeah because you, you know there are guys who uh re refurbish these things you can buy them and they work and you can hook up your bluetooth tooth to them now and play your phone through it but i love a console stereo there's just something mm -hmm. that reminds me of christmas and holiday where you know your dad would put on the the record you know and i, I especially thought it, the mid-century and i don't think i've seen a console stereo in a hallmark christmas movie so it felt like that was kind of a first for me I thought, cool. oh yeah. what a cool idea so yeah, i like that, that. Be. I, it I made said, me cringe when they took it out of the house and put it in the back of a trunk that was not good. <laughs> don't do that don't drop uh, it no. i remember now you mentioned we had one growing up and ours had an eight track. Uh, oh yeah, seventies. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, it, those... didn't, it didn't have the Christmas albums. It had like uh, uh, whatever. My brother's, you know, Queen or whatever. <laughs> those, those, those are the kind of records that it was. That it was they made a Christmas Led's, album or Led Zeppelin oh, okay. and stuff. So they should have. They should have. They should have made a Christmas album. Yeah. So yeah, that's what that that 
I like that stuff, uh, that, and there was some, you know, the house that was, they, they did a good job, uh, you know, it's a nice house. furnishing the house, whatever yeah. the, the feeling of the house there, you know, there were cobwebs because it looked like it hadn't been mm -hmm. lived in for a while, you know, so there were some nice, nice things vines that got cleaned out, out in 10 minutes flat. Oh yeah. No. Cleaned out. Victor goes out to pick it something out of the car and he comes back and it's all, uh, all the cobwebs are gone, dusted. Gone. And everything. Yeah. It's that's, that's how amazing the crew is. So, yeah. I th I would say that my favorite uh, little stylistic thing that they had, what, I love the little reindeer, although it was pretty obvious they were plastic, but uh, not hand carved, but um, I can let that go. Yeah. Um, I like the nutcracker. I'm a, just a sucker for nutcrackers. Oh, the big, big giant nutcrackers. I just, I just love it. I just love those. So. Because quite often those show up in Hallmark movies, you know, you're they're walking down the street, you see the giant nutcracker standing by a door. So this was one of those giant nutcrackers. Yeah, it accompanies my favorite line in the movie, which was, uh, it's okay, it's just a nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a nutcracker. It's a giant nutcracker. So but I like that. Oh. And what was yours, Eric? Okay, well, you guys missed out on Heidi and her outfits. Like, you know, uh, she's coming to this little... You know, it's Boston, I guess, somewhere, right? It's supposed to be. And yeah. um, some, one of the, where, where my daughter, by the way, just moved to. So I was watching oh, it and thinking wow. of her. But, um, you know, so she's living in one of the little towns around Boston. Mm -hmm. And she brought the, you know, the high powered suits mm -hmm. to this uh, historic house there. And she even made the joke about it. She's like, you know, I've been the stay at home mom in my, uh, you know, my Lululemon for years. So I am darn right i'm pulling this stuff out and yeah, yeah she did yeah, make yeah. that i tell you what yeah, that's true yeah. she knew she knew how to wear it she looked absolutely fantastic she did look good yeah i actually liked the pajamas she was wearing at first so <laughs> yeah the one yeah. when she ran outside or oh, the snow i will say that for being in boston the only one that had an accent was the across the street neighbor he had a good boston accent it was pretty good she's from, I'm, I'm from maine so she's from maine so spent a lot of time in boston you, so you, you didn't have oh my daughter just went up to uh maine and did uh some sort of painting she had her friend come visit and they went up to uh portland and oh, okay. painted some like little i don't know frame things or whatever well she drove That's right cool. past your, ho yeah. your yeah, hotel she, she did been. she did she's like oh i think there's diane's house <laughs> um you can almost see it from 95 and then you had uh you know victor who's just by the way he's like oh i'm gonna be this c contractor yet he just spent his entire time you know, helping her out. He was, he doesn't have to make any money. I guess he's just independently wealthy, but, um, but, uh, you know, he just looked like the handyman and, you know, like you have to appreciate hunky handyman vibe, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> he just well, does yeah. it. Oh, there was, yeah, there was one, uh, he could handle the beginning when, uh, Linda, the office, other office person says, uh, oh, he, he's got Dave, you're going to meet Dave. He's gone out to get the decoration. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. When we came back. Or with the, uh, I grew up with my uh with my potted fern, my Christmas fern. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Just so, one yeah. But uh no, and I thought like you guys said too, I thought the house really hit all the marks. And uh <laughs> the other thing I'll say secret room, man. I'd like to have a secret room in my house. Secret room, yeah. Those are cool. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. That added to the mystery. Yeah. yeah. I had one uh when I was a kid, we had uh like through a closet, you could get to the attic, um, which nothing was in other than what we where we would play. But you had like a through clothes and work your way around and yeah. you could get in. So Man. it was good, especially when you're a kid. Yeah, so that, that would have been a fun. That would have been a fun house to uh, to grow up in. I did not like how how quickly the kids went from being, oh, do we have to be here to. Uh, no, sorry, Dad. We're gonna stay because they now they have something they want to well, do. Well, the mystery well, helped. Really good. It helped the, them adjust to being in the house. So yeah, that was actually together, good. Yeah. So, yeah. The son was never had the issue. It was just the daughter. The daughter. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. being the bratty teenager and yeah, the teenager. Yeah. yeah. She was like, ah, oh, okay. So yeah. yeah, like, yeah, it was. I don't know. I like I say, I thought she <laughs> she was fine. I'm glad that she actually did turn too much because the bratty teenager sometimes grates on you. So, yes. which in real life too. <laughs> yes. So maybe it's maybe it's just good acting. I'm not appreciating. <laughs> so I don't know. All right. Uh, but you know, like we said, it's uh, we we, we it's we like the movie. We yeah, did make it. it didn't make the menu, but not because we didn't like it. Yeah. So I think it was universally uh, pretty well enjoyed. So mm -hmm. well, let's go through and figure out rank a little bit about okay. what it was that that we did like it. 
Okay, our first one we always start out with is the steam factor, because even though it's a mystery, it's still a hallmark, and we like to get a little bit of steam going. going to be some All steam. Right. I, I'm right, going to step out there first and just take the hit, because people aren't going to like me, but I only gave it a five. Really? Yeah. Even with the handhold? Yeah, that was it, though. It was like the handhold, and but then it then then nothing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're not like <laughs> wow. I could have gone somewhere, but then it didn't. So uh, I think that partly it was because uh, the other things in the movie sort of took over, yeah, and the, and then they didn't really get as much screen time together alone, you know, with the steam happening. I I, I don't know, or I even think, even in the room yeah, with other people, yeah. and that, like for the dance, the dancing thing when he wanted to dance with her, huh. they could have played a more romantic song than. Joy to the world. <laughs> that doesn't exactly it, evoke steam. No, that you can't so, think steam when you're listening. I mean, to you're thinking, the world. you know, could have brought Sharon again, Cole or you know, like the, the, there's so many really great yeah. romantic Christmas songs, and yeah. that was what they used. I will say uh, this music for this movie was done by Track Taylors, and Track Taylors, I believe, is a company that provides just music cues. I'm not entirely sure because I haven't spoken to these guys, but it's not a composer. So. Okay. Uh, you know, the whenever the, you see track tailors, it's kind of to me a hodgepodge of different cues, and it doesn't have the thematic structure of a composer. And so I thought, whoever the music supervisor was on this movie, or the, through track tailors, when they played the Joy of the World kind of slow jazzy version of that, and they're dancing to it, it took the steam right out of it for me. It I mean, because I like because I thought that would have been a really good steamy scene, but the music. Eh. No, it doesn't doesn't cut it. You can't. You know. There were no moments of almost kissing. I don't think. Yeah. Which again, but it, you know what I mean. It's like if I want steam, I mean we've all seen the steam okay. rising off, oh. like Tyler or Andrew or any of those guys, and and even on Victor. Oh you know, yeah. We've seen it, but in this Summer particular Bill. movie, they yeah they it's like it just wasn't on the page. I guess. Yeah, I thought. Know? I mean, I thought this movie was geared to more. It's more of a family movie and maybe geared towards kids. Teens in a way, and again, from my background doing movies about te for teens, and that was just kind of like it's toned down. This is a little like an after school special expanded yeah. to be kind of a mystery, but it's still got that serious element where where the father is, you know. So it kind of felt like that to me. It felt like an expanded version of that kind of uh, story. And there so also that's why. A lot so I would give the, for me my steam factor would be a six because I felt yeah. for what she's talked about and what I've just spoken about. I thought it really wasn't about the romance, and mm -hmm. so. There was very limited steam, you know. I felt like the movie was going to pick up after the mistletoe kiss, and then then it was going to be steamy. But with the, but by then the movie was over. But they had <laughs> so. they had, seemed to have fine chemistry. That wasn't yeah, the did. issue. Yeah. It just it just wasn't they really were both great. Yeah, but... we're yeah. I didn't. I, it's not well, what I got from the movie. I'll say four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? I gave it the eight. So <laughs> there you go. I uh, I agree with you in in some ways, but I thought you just had the two of them who. Why it wasn't very overt, I just kind of like Victor's like, I like her. And just they had the looks going and you could just some of the flirting. And um, it just sort of was the thing where he, he just very early and I think became very clear, like, I'm digging you. And it progressed. And I agree with you. It could have had a better crescendo. Right. But um I also really enjoy the scene, even though it technically, I guess, wasn't part of, they weren't anything yet. When the ex came over and he's talking to her in oh, the yeah. doorway yeah. and yeah. Victor like sort of pops out behind and you can just yeah. see him. He's like, okay, yeah, you're a lot hotter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. Okay, then, that's it. You know, I can see what why you do, What divorced. do you do if Victor yeah. Webster yeah. walks out from, you know, your ex-wife? You just like, gotta got divorced, be, yeah. yeah, we got divorced, you, but someday you're going to meet this guy. Yeah. You, know? you just got to resign at that point. Him, <laughs> yeah. after trying to walk All right, I got to go now. Like, oh, okay. So, yeah. That and we never see him again. So, you know, there you go. Right. He's like, I. there's no chance of reconciliation. No, it's That guy is in the same town. All right. <laughs> what do you get the story? So this is taking away the mystery, which once again, will. Well, that's the next one. Is, so but, yeah, the story. Yeah, okay. The, but, story, but the story. I, why don't you go, Michael? I would give the story a seven. You um, cheated and looked at my paper. Didn't I didn't know. I, no, I okay. gave it a seven. We both gave it a seven. Yeah. Um, I mean, out of a ten, that's still pretty good. It's solid. It's, solid. It was, seven. it was a watchable story. Um, and there were there was parallel stories go, stories going on that uh, ended up you know meshing at the end. Uh, it was also a love story, but as we've just spoken about, it wasn't that wasn't really the highlight of the the, 
the crux right. of the movie. But uh, so I gave it a seven. I thought, it, again, looking at from the point of view, if uh, if uh, young people were watching this movie, they'd probably find it fun, you know. So and um, you know, it it held your attention, it, and it did it did have a mystery element, like what are what are all these uh, clues leading to, mm -hmm. you know? So it kind of held you in there. So yeah, I gave it a seven. Yep, I, I, I did uh, the same, and I don't I can't disagree. So I, I I was a little more generous than you guys. I gave it a nine, and mostly because what you said is it had a whole bunch of different stories that were taking place, and usually when that happens, some you know some of them fail, and I thought they all. I can agree. the market, right? Like you had the yeah. kids, yep. their whole thing worked out. David and his dad worked out. You had her and her job, which once again, that is a little bit that forced conflict. You had Linda coming in doing like all the different things worked mm -hmm. and you rarely get it that way. And it was enjoyable. And like I said, to write a story where you don't have obnoxious kids. Yeah. I guess like two bonus points for me right off the bat. So I think my, my, <laughs> so that my elevated it. Yeah. My two bonus points probably came off because of the steam factor. I think I was, so. I wanted more heat in the kitchen. You know, I want a little more spice see that. See the kitchen, but uh, yeah, you had, you had Victor and you wanted that heat coming. I, I wanted understand. The heat, you know, yeah. I wanted heat did right. summer villa. You didn't know? come out of so. a pool. Exactly. No, that's true. That's, you had Victor hey, coming out of like the, the, the steam pool and the whatever in the winter. I had a sauna. That would have so, been good. Exactly. A little sauna. Right. See, when he comes out of the pool, women get excited and men, we get depressed. Like, yeah. oh. That's true. All right. What do we give it for the mystery? You go for it. Um, I hate to say it. I, I'm kind of changing my mind a little bit, but uh, I, I did give it a five for mystery, um, mainly because. For, to be on the Hallmark movies and mystery, I felt like it needed more mystery uh, because it was half of it was just scavenger hunt. That wasn't really a mystery. So I felt like I gave it half, half the movie got a 10 and then half the movie got a five. So, you know, or half the movie got a seven, half the movie got a three. I don't know, whatever. I, I landed in the middle. So uh, that was, that was my thinking on that. Um, I don't think that they could have done any more in this movie to make it be more of a mystery it's just the way the story was and it was enjoyable but to me i i like my mystery a little more mysterious if i can say that so. mm -hmm. yeah uh, for me i would uh, also give it a five because i was i thought it was going to be more of a mystery you'd find on the channel you know so um the it i kind of guessed what was going on i knew there was going to be something to do with the father and, mm -hmm. and that was he was going to have lived there sometime when he was a kid i got all that i figured out that out pretty fast or soon but uh so i as a mystery it didn't uh you know they, they didn't there were not a lot of red herrings and all that kind of thing you'd find in normal uh mystery so i i gave it a five as a mystery as a family movie it was much better it a 10. I gave as it a, 10 for that. but as a mystery yeah. it was like a five so uh fives what across the board it is yeah, yeah, for the same exact reason. Wow. Yeah. There Excellent. you go. There you go. He's all just right. he doesn't want us to feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been ranking higher. It's okay. All right. Now we get into the acting of this. this uh, oh, that's easy. That's a ten. I mean, that's a ten for me. That's the the best part of the movie was these guys. They were so solid. Mm -hmm. Good and, cast. Uh, we we talked about that earlier, so I don't need to go into it anymore. But that was my. I, I give it a ten. I also gave the the cast a ten. They did a great job. Now each of the kids got at least ten. Yeah, they I should get a ten. Each. a twelve or something. You know, so just a ten just for Fred Henderson. So yeah, ten. Right there with you. The, there was once again with all those characters. Even mm -hmm. the, like you say, the, the, uh, the, the only one who's the, the assistant or mayor, whatever, but literally all the characters, the, the mayor lady, when she steps up, yeah, yep. nailed it. She's Erica, excellent. her first yeah. hallmark, nailed it. Yeah. Victor yeah. always nails it. Kids. Yep. They do whatever. 10. I mean, you know, like the assistant mayor, he was even good, but basically he had nothing to do. I mean, he, there yeah. wasn't much for him to do. So yeah, somebody had to be the bad guy. You know, he, was he did get to come up and say, my sister saw the hashtag. Yeah, there you go. So here's my so, picture. His life was changed. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Of somebody else. Cause I didn't recognize the yeah. picture. I don't know him. Um, okay. Where are we at in style? Style. Mm -hmm. I would, I'll just go ahead. I'd say it was a six for me because it wasn't an overly stylish movie. It was fairly straight ahead, nothing, no fancy camera work, uh, not a whole lot of special effects really. Um, so as a stylistic movie, it didn't, it's not like, wow, that was an incredible style in that movie. I didn't, if I'm just looking at it from a film, if, you, if you're meaning filmmaking style, 
that's the way I would look at it. Just it was it was fairly I wouldn't say pedestrian, but fairly uh, average style uh, movie for this for what it was. You know, so that's that's why I, I gave yeah. it a six. The style it's pretty subjective on the style. Um, I think I I would go between a six and a seven. Uh, and that that it goes up a little for me because of the the reindeer in all the little places. I thought that was clever. Uh, the little POV. Of the that was the, so, the most clever part the of the little movie. specials yeah. that they put in there, the lighting and, and uh, uh, I think it's, isn't it Tony Mechie that does Tony Mechie did that. He's always does really solid work. So Tony Mechie is also a director and sometimes he's a DP. It's a really interesting. So, but he was the DP on the movie. I like him. And um, yeah, I, I think that for me between a six and a seven, I would push it a little higher to seven. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, I was there with the six kind of just like you said, Michael, it's a whole lot of just, Okay. Erica, yeah. Like I say, Erica's was fantastic. Mistletoe Manor looked cute, but, you know. We didn't get to it, see a whole lot of it. It had an establishing it, shot, it, but it just, uh, interiors. Yeah. But. It just was, everything was good. Nothing my was favorite, bad. Nothing was great. Yeah. yeah. My, my favorite um, uh, scene, as far as, you know, what the place looked like, was the opening scenes where everything was light and airy and you know sunlight coming in the curtains and all the nice furniture and and uh tall ceilings and it just that that was my favorite part but once it got into more of the the tunnels and everything like that it just started to get a little more claustrophobic for me so yeah. um you know i i like the scene where victor's sitting in the chair holding her hand that was my favorite scene yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> I liked the the console stereo scene, which yeah. he puts on a record on the stereo. I don't yeah. know what it was playing. It wasn't very great. Well, there, there but it didn't have a very good uh, style. No, oh, it, but it's yeah. like they could have put something more. Again, maybe that was the track Taylor's problem. But it, the music wasn't great. But the, the idea of that scene, yeah. you know, was was really cool. Yeah, should have been so. like a Nat King Cole being yeah, it should have been or something. Yeah. One of they those. Didn't, no. They didn't want to spring for the. the they, didn't, they didn't want to yeah, spring so. for it, so they didn't yeah. do it. So, yeah. all right, you guys know what your scores add up to. It doesn't really matter because I guarantee this is our highest ranked movie ever because we have it's three like, people rating it as opposed to two. <laughs> it's so, like, whose job is it anyway? Whose line yeah. is it so anyway? So if it, if it really exceeds, uh, if it it exceeds a 70, we say it's definitely worth oh, a well, watch and I, everything like that. So we're like well 30, in the hundred. So I was a 34. So I'm like 33 to 34. So yeah. let's call it 33 and a half. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So we're in like a hundred and where we're like 110 yeah. ish. So, oh, yeah, there's movies. Um, yeah, so uh, that, that, I mean, that's charts. that's according to us, we've never had 100 before, so there we go. <laughs> good. Well, I, I feel privileged. We should probably divide our score in half, though. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you're close enough, so but regardless, I think we all at the end of the day, we just sort of rank it and then we say throw away the rankings. And would we Go watch it again? Movie. Do we enjoy oh, it? Again. Yes, I think we all enjoyed it, and it was a definitely very, watchable. And I'd recommend it's definitely a fun watch. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'd yeah. recommend it. Yeah, yeah. so and I, like I say, in the acting. It was such is great. Just great I was acting, like, so you got to appreciate yeah. that. I always like to mention the director, Alan Harmon, directed this, and he's directed many, many movies, and so for Hallmark, and he did a fine job with this. So, mm -hmm. so there you go. Yeah. All right, this was fun. Yeah, what well, else can we you. talk about? <laughs> well, why don't you why don't you tell everyone where uh, they can find you guys? Well, you can find us at uh, uh, Hallmark Cafe on Instagram, and uh, we have a Facebook group, the Hallmark Cafe, and. Uh, uh, you can find our podcasts on Apple and Spotify. Yeah, Hallmark Cafe, some, and so. Google, other places. I don't really yeah. know where it all is. It goes out there it's somewhere. out there. I, we you just guys are pretty much every week, right? We, yes. we do. Uh, we missed one or maybe two weeks in the summer. We actually got to be background actors on uh, Kevin right, Costner's right. movie Horizon. So that was fun. And we were so exhausted by the time we Good. got home. We didn't have, any, have the yeah. energy to watch a movie. You, you, you teased about oh, how you were in that and then you didn't reveal what it was right away. I, and I was like, we where were you guys? We Come on, you got to tell me. NDA. I know we had an NDA. Right. We couldn't say anything. Now we could say it. We can say it. We can't share any pictures, although we we shouldn't say that we snuck a few, but we did. Um, so we know what we looked like. Yeah. But uh, we don't look like this. No. We look um, like pioneers. I know we were settlers, and uh, it was really fun. We were up close and personal with the uh, with uh, the director, with uh, we were Mr. a couple Mr. scenes, Mr. Costner, yeah, yeah. and uh, we might get some FaceTime on the movie. I think I, I know you see. will. When does it come out? I, I In August. August. Okay, so you yeah. little ways. Yeah, and big, one, once it comes out, we can we can talk yeah, about it's it. It's a big budget western, and there's yeah. going to be four of them, and we're in Horizon Two, mm -hmm. so. Okay. Uh, I think the first one's going to be on in like March or something. No, Horizon. no April and June. And then this April one comes June. out in August. Yeah. So they're going to do like two summer, two big blockbusters in one summer. They're going to try that out next gotcha. summer. So 
And now that the strike is over, we're hoping he goes back because he's ready. He's got part three to do. And hopefully we haven't been killed off. So maybe we'll have to go back. (laughs) But, you know, this was filmed near Moab and we don't live too far from Moab because we're right on the border with Utah. Utah has a really good film industry. Mm -hmm. And so they make a lot of movies in Utah, make a lot of Hallmark movies like Holly or made made in Salt Salt Lake City. So um, or near there. Uh, so they make a lot of movies for Hallmark there and then they make other movies there. So we're right across the border. So we just zipped over there and, you know, well, an hour and a half is zipping, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now yeah, we're, yeah. Did I say we were tired at the end of the day? Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, so you're but driving back so and forth fun. every day. Yeah, we yeah. did. Okay. Some of the, some of the background actually negotiated hotel rooms and I'm like, how did you do? Well, Cause we came in late. We were kind <laughs> we of late. So late next, if they put us in a movie again, we'll, we'll ask. Hotel. We'll ask oh. next time. But it was so much fun. I recommend anybody out there, if you have a chance to to even try to do a background thing, that is so much fun to watch how, yeah. how it works yeah. and be well, a part of it. So back in the day, my uh, arm and my groin were in a uh, national <laughs> commercial. So we were, we were <laughs> actually, so it was back when I worked in an agency mm-hmm. in LA and nice. um, they need, they were filming the commercial and they had it basically all done, but they just needed some, of the essentially like the close-ups of different things. And so they just said, Hey, we'll give, it was for a golf company. And they were like, Hey, we'll give you guys a driver if you come out. And oh, so we funny. spent all day filming. Cause you had it, there was like the morning and then the evening, and then you didn't do anything during the entire middle part of the day. Cause they, they wanted that, you know, that sunlight. It's the light. And, um, yeah. Right. Yeah. And um, so they did it. And then when it all said and done, there's one scene where you just my arm sways and another one where they do a pan across the lower part of our body. There's, yeah. there's the four of us and they do on the, the, on the part hip of turn? us. On yeah, the hip turn just, or we're just, we're just, just walking. We're just walking. Oh, just walking. It's yeah. like four, four guys across. And so they just did like a little <laughs> they get to tell all from, your friends when it's on. Hey, that, so. that's me. That's me. Yeah, <laughs> that's my crotch. <laughs> so. so how good a driver was it that they gave you? Oh, it's actually, unfortunately it was in tailor maids, uh, little down period they were great beforehand then they were had some crap equipment for a couple years and then they came back with the great ones and unfortunately my window was when they were doing the crap equipment but i got to play amazing courses and i got to to play golf all the time and stuff which was fantastic but what do you uh, what do you play what do you play i mean what uh, do you shoot well i don't i I don't play anymore but back when i did i was down to a four Wow. That's so that wasn't, that good. was okay. It was okay. Except for all my friends played college golf and they were all like plus two. So I could shoot 73 and I would lose by five. Yeah. I, I so, would be like a 16. I, uh, <laughs> very like good. One of my, one of my okay. good, one of my good friends had uh, eight birdies in a row, nine in mm-hmm. 10 holes and shot 76. He had the worst temper of anyone I've ever, if he could ever get his head in the game, he would have been phenomenal. <laughs> But I yeah, think we, no. I think I'm that, better at mini golf. I think there should be a mystery where the the you know the the detective is a golfer. You know, or, there I we know, go. You know, there we go. I was always thinking it would be fun. Maybe maybe when we can reciprocate. Uh, well, they do in one of the one of the chronicles. They uh, that's they right. Go out and, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's right. Yeah. Um, the, uh, we could do a little game where we come up with an idea and then we, we used to do this with songwriting all the time where we'd sit because co-writing in Nashville is a big thing. So you would throw out a line and then somebody would have to answer with another line. And then by the time, but it got kind of crazy. So we could do that with a, a movie idea. Okay. There are that happened when they, people. that happened when they, they wrote achy breaky heart. It was just like yeah, that. They, 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 you know, we could, we could kind of toss ideas back and forth. We come up with a line and you come up with a line and then we'll, before you know it, we'll have a before script. You know, it's all done. And then you can get your uh, buddy there. Or and, concept. And, and, Steve Beauregard, yeah, get him over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, Steve yeah, yeah. Help to finish us. it off for us. I don't know. He, he, he won't talk to us now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's too busy writing that next script. So, all yeah, right. Time. Thank you so much for having well, me. Well, it was a pleasure having you. Um, yep, we'll have you. to do it again. Yeah. We shall. Wait till, now that the strike is over, right. We can get some new mysteries because it was getting close. The, the, pretty yeah. dry. Yeah. The yeah. year was I always done. Look forward to, I love Christmas, but I always look forward to January. And uh, we dry. need, uh, yeah, we need to get those uh, writers writing again because yeah. Uh, yeah. We, need, we need some mysteries to re- I'll tell you, restock. I'm looking forward to, I really want another cases of mystery lane. I oh, like Paul that. Campbell. Yeah. I, I really want another one. hundred percent agree. Like, Everyone. Paul Campbell. Addict. Everyone agrees with that. Yeah. yeah. Everyone agrees with that. Other it's than a series, so. Swing My Heart podcast 
I don't know if you guys follow them at all, but they came out with their list that their uh, their uh, followers voted on, and it didn't make their list for like they have to then vote from the the top eight, and then whoever it is, I'm like, mm-hmm. so I, I sent them a message. I'm like, I don't know how that didn't make it. Yeah, that was, that's, in my opinion, like a, clearly a the best of the year, and there were good ones. So yeah, no, that was the best. Ones, but that, yeah. was that was the best. Oh my and gosh! We talked so to their funny. we talked to those writers. They were they were awesome. They were yeah. awesome. That was their first first hallmark. Cool. Well. No, well then great. we we need another one of those. Yeah, I we, do. we really like that one because we're very clever. we're picky we're we picky are, about yeah. these things. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. we're, we're we love our mysteries and don't mess with them. Don't, you know, don't mess with us. Give us good mysteries because we got to have them. Yeah. And I am so getting a set of those. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gl- I'm just glad that you guys didn't say uh, your favorite mystery is mystery 101, and it's got to come back. And no, yeah. uh, I'm I'm okay with that. I, I actually wouldn't mind it if they brought back the concept somehow and recast it because it maybe uh, pick let maybe do a prequel or something that would be that fun. W- all right. So last uh, year that I'll was tell one you of our favorite th- person in that mystery was the father with uh, what was his name? The oh yeah, played the father. Yeah. I love Robin. Him. Robin. Robin. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. All right, just so you know, and I got in trouble for this because Uh-oh. we came out with a, a 10 things we want to see in Hallmark last uh, year in like February. And one of them was my idea uh, was Windy City Mysteries, which was the prequel with Travis and um, oh, his Aaron ex- Cahill. Aaron right. Cahill. We're it's back like, when they're back yeah, yeah, when they're still yeah. in Chicago. Yeah, and yeah. Mystery 101 people hate me for it. Oh, she just part of the thing too was so we, we published it. I made like a little fake cover and I started yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about it over Man. and it got in like the Facebook world where people were all like saying, oh, this is why it's not coming back. And people were like, no, that's a joke. It's not really happening. <laughs> it like, took its own life and <laughs> stuff. So That's a great idea though, because we often said that when in that, on that last episode that she, I mean, they brought some heat. They, they, they have oh, Aaron Cahill is fantastic. Yeah. And uh, yeah. uh, that, that would woman. be a great substitute. Um, we thought that would work, but yeah. you know, it, it it's nothing against Jill Wagner or anybody. Nope. It's just whatever. She, well, she's not available anymore. Whatever so. is happening, you know, right. they have, if they want to it. continue on with the characters, they'd have to do something different. So, you know, what can you do? What can so, you do? But, yeah. you know, right. I did look for whatever they're going to come up with next year. I can't I'm wait. Always I'm looking I'm forward in. to, I'm all to in. see. We know it's, we know it's Curious Cater, probably uh, Hannah Swenson. I wish we could talk them into doing another gourmet detective. Yeah. So does Dylan. Oh, trust me, I talked to uh, Dylan Neal is one of the guys who talks to me behind the scenes, yeah. and he agrees with you. Yeah, yeah. he he, he wants love he, he love and his wife wrote those, and they're really good. Right. So, yeah. So, so let's hope. Right. So. Let's hope so. Well, anyway, feel free yes. to reach out to us anytime, and uh, right. we'll reciprocate. We'll have you on it. This has been a blast. Yeah, Thank you. So I don't much. I don't talk about the uh, I do my little one minute uh, reviews for the for the rom com. So yeah, it'd be fun to deep dive into one. Be. Oh That's yeah, we'll, we'll, right. we'll, any, we'll anytime you want. It'll be fun. Thank you so much. Thanks, we'll Eric. talk to you.